the cardiac catheterization lab is the last step to diagnose heart blockages. Patient either can come in as an emergency if they're having a major heart attack, or they can be coming in after they had investigation with stress testing or other modalities, and we need to confirm if there is any blockages. So patients who have heart blockages can have totally different symptoms than just chest pain. As a matter of fact, a lot of those patients will not have your typical chest pain that you hear about here and there. Patient can have shortness of breath, they can have symptoms of jaw discomfort, or even symptoms of pain between their shoulder blade, or even an older patient or females, they can have symptoms of fatigue or lack of energy, and yet still can have a heart blockage. A cardiac catheterization is a procedure that is traditionally done by accessing an artery, which lead all the way up to the heart arteries. It's been done through the groin, through an artery called the femoral artery, but lately, the more popular procedure is doing, going through the artery of the wrist called the radial artery. The radial artery is a much safer procedure because it carries less risk of bleeding and also it's much more convenient for patients. If a blockage is found, then the next step is to try and fix it. One of the modalities of doing so in the cardiac catheterization lab is by inserting a stent. A stent is a metal coil which, when deployed inside an artery, keeps the artery open. If blockages are more complicated, in a way where you have blockages in sensitive location, that a stent will probably harm rather than help, or if there are multiple blockages, or if there are scenarios where patients, such as diabetics, would actually benefit more from a different procedure, some of those patients will require open heart surgery and coronary artery bypass. In our cardiac catheterization lab, we now have new technologies that help us help those patients with very complex disease. One of the technologies is a small heart pump, which is inserted through the groin that helps support the heart of those sick patients through complex procedures. Those patients that could not have stents done before or are not candidate for open heart surgery now could be helped through stenting with the support of that heart pump. At UPMC Altoona, the key to success in our cardiac catheterization lab is our team approach. Our team consists of cardiologists, nurses, technicians, but also cardiac surgeons and vascular surgeons that are present to deal with any complications that arise during catheterizations. We are a high volume center and we have all the technologies that are available to us that help us provide the best care possible for our patients.